Hey, what's up guys? It's Kerry Sullivan with RockstarTriathlete.com coming at you today with some more advice on some common mistakes athletes make that you can avoid so you don't get stagnant in your progression in triathlon. Uh, one thing I see some athletes make the mistake of doing is racing too much. They see every 5K, 10K, I did a ride, triathlon, coming down the road at them and they want to do it and they go and do it and they race and they race and they end up getting overtrained and injured. You really want to avoid that and pick and choose races that you feel that you can go out there and have a pretty good race at and not just use them all as training or get overly excited by groups of people and friends doing them. You got to be smart and you got to pick and choose. Uh, the other thing is not practicing transitions. Transitions are an excellent place where you can make up time. If you look at a race and you look at a guy who wins a race, you can look at their transitions as well as their other times. And their transitions are usually the fastest out of anybody in the race as well as their other times. So that's a great place where you can pick up some extra seconds or even minutes if you're truly horrible at doing transitions. But hey, like anything else, you practice and practice and practice and soon enough you'll be a rock star, right? Uh, the other thing is winging it nutritionally going into a race. That can be a big mistake. You know, just taking whatever gels that you're given during the race or whatever's on the race course for drinking and you've never had it before can end up being a disaster more often than not. So really go into a race knowing what's going to work for you nutritionally. Train with what you're going to use uh, during a race so you know what's happening and you, you can go into a race confident that you know what is going on. Going on. The last thing also is being too rigid with nutrition, kind of the flip side. At the same time, if you're out there and you're doing an Ironman and you go into uh, one of the aid stations and you're planning on maybe getting a banana and they don't have bananas and maybe they only have Coke or whatever and you decide to you know, forego the banana in an Ironman race or longer races, that can be uh, an issue for sure because you definitely need to keep having the calories coming into you with those longer races. So that is it. Hope you guys like this. If you enjoyed this, feel free to pass it around. If you want any more tips, go to rockstartriathlete.com. Put your information in there and I promise you I'll give you some great information there. Rock on. Bye-bye.